surprise, surprise, I have more questions for you guys. Um, so, okay, the tooth, sorry to keep going on about this tooth, but it's kind of the elephant in the room, um, or lack thereof, but, um, I was wondering if you guys, um, and you don't have to, like, post this in the comments, you can message me if you don't want to, like, share it or anything, but sharing is caring, but, you know, whatever. Um, the tooth that I got ripped out of my jaw, um, it actually was a bad tooth to start out with, and I'd had bonds on it before because it had, like, a divot in it, and then I decided to get my four front teeth capped, or actually I got veneers, and then that's when I started having trouble and I had to get the three root canals, and so I just got them capped. And the first time that I got the veneers, they cut my gum around the tooth to make them look like they were the same length. Because they were looking like they were not the same length because, like, I don't know, something about the gum. So they cut my gum off, and then every doctor I've seen after that point has said, have you had your gum removed here? And I was like, yeah, when I got my veneers. Because um, I guess evidently they took too much. It really was a, it was a good, it was a good place that I went. That's what scares me the most. But, um, but I don't live that in the area anymore. I wish I could like tell them and like, cause it costs a lot of money. But anyways, um, so I'm just wondering like if I get, like I'm getting a flipper that you know just clicks in. I've seen those before because one of my friends in high school he played hockey and he got his front tooth um, knocked out and he he had one. It was, like, pretty much just, like, a retainer, and he could, like, click it in and out. But I didn't really, like, get up in his grill and look at it. And then with the dental implant, I don't know if that's going to be an option still or if I want to go through that. But what I'm wondering is, does the gum come, like, how does the gum go over the tooth? Like, my other teeth. Like, how do they... Like, they stick, like, the tooth up into the gum, and then, like, what if my gum's, like, really high? Because my gum is, like, really, really high. Like, where the tooth used to be. So, I don't know. Side note, um, not having to do with my tooth. I, Bella, I think is feeling better. I think. Bella, are you feeling better? Yeah, she says she's feeling better. So, that's good. Um, I've been getting private videos from you guys. And it, I, oh, it's just the best thing ever. I feel like it is like Christmas. Well, I mean, it is the Christmas season. But every time you guys send me a video, I get like... I get a little bit delusional. But at this point, I think it's valid. I feel like I'm like having a conversation. Like, I sit there with my iPad... And I, like, watch the videos, and I laugh, and I, like, I don't know if I talk out loud, or if I should admit that I do, but it makes me laugh and smile and cry, and I just love it so much, so that's been awesome. Um, <sighs> still on these antibiotics, yada, 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 all that stuff's boring. So, um, f funny little fact about me is, um... If you've been watching my channel for for ages, you know that I love zombies. Well, it goes beyond love, but I'm obsessed with zombies. Like, to the point where, like, I keep a list of, like, every different kind of name that I've ever heard a zombie called. And I've read over a hundred zombie books. Probably, like, every one ever written. Um, but anyways. And I love horror movies. Like, the really gory horror movies like the ridiculous stupid like ones that you're like why did you throw the gun down pick up the gun don't go down in the basement like those ones and like blood spewing everywhere but um i don't actually like real life type scary movies like my friends always think that i do but i don't like i i even like like i don't mind I don't like them as much, but, like, ghost stories and, like, things to do with, like, um, well, like, ghosts. Uh, 
if they're like dramatized. But I was just watching this show on Netflix because it just came on and it suggested it for me because it thinks I'm a psychopath. Um, it's called The Dead Files and it was like this psychic chick and she was like talking about this demon that she was seeing. And like it scared the crap out of me. I didn't like it at all. Like I don't like watching stuff like that. I don't know why. But um, because like most people I think are the exact opposite. Like... I think my friend Alicia was, like, I mean, she doesn't like anything scary, but I think she had to choose. She would rather watch, like, a scary movie than, like, a horror slasher movie. But for me, I think because it's, like, so, sus like, what's that, what's that saying? S suspends belief. I don't know if that's the correct way of using that word or phrase or whatever, but it's so not real to me. Like, like the Saw movies and, like, Hostel and, like, I know I'll probably, like, that things like that do happen but like in my little like naive mind I always think the best of people and that it doesn't happen but um when I hear about like these ghost stories and like the true crimes and stuff I don't that really freaks me out like I don't like it like mm -hmm. I don't like it and all the like medium stuff like seeing ghosts and talking to them and like, of course, I'm very much, like, a skeptic, like, with this dead files. I'm, like, she literally is saying, like, she's, she feels anger and darkness. It's like, yeah, duh. Like, I could say the same thing walking into a place that I think is haunted. Um, but, I don't know, it just, like, really creeps me out. And, like, I just was, like, I need to watch something different because I don't like this. And then I kind of got, like, mad. I was, like, this is stupid. Why am I scared? Like, I watch, like, all these, like horror movies and like slashers and like serial killers and I watch those just fine but this stupid like median lady with like crazy weird hair and a detective I can't watch it it freaks me out but I don't know so that's just a little side note about me being wimpy but um I used to be really into like I used to this is like this will make me for real sound like certified like psychopath but um, at a point in my insomnia, I used to leave the TV on at night, and, um, this was, like, when my, um, anxiety and depression was really, really bad, um, I would leave it on because I would wake up really frequently in the night, and if I would watch the TV, I would fall back to sleep, instead of just, like, sitting in the darkness, and, like, then I would have a panic attack, but... <laughs> Um, I don't know if you guys can tell that I haven't talked to, like, a human being in, like, two weeks. No? Yeah. I, I'm very quiet and subdued. Oh my gosh, I'm going insane. Okay, so, um, uh, what was I talking about? I got distracted by being embarrassed about talking so much. Oh, so I used to watch the ID channel. I don't know if that's still around. It was like, used to be like, this True TV or maybe it is True TV now. Anyways, it was like, it's like 24 hours a day. It's like true crimes, like crimes and like all these weird shows and stuff like that. And I liked watching Snapped. And um, yeah, I, it used to, I used to fall asleep to that. And I think it mainly was because like if you shut your eyes you can't you can't really like see the horror and like things going on and usually there's like a male narrator and for some reason that voice is very soothing to me but yeah that makes me sound like a psychopath but that's what I used to watch all the time and then my mom got really into it which is not good because she's like a severely paranoid person well she's a mother so she's always like severely paranoid about me but she would always make me paranoid but I guess that was kind of a good thing because, I don't know, the town I grew up in, like, we never let each other walk home alone and stuff like that. But then again, like, that Cindy girl did go missing, so, I mean, that wasn't like there was no crime or anything, but, oh, this got really dark. See, I think it was because I was watching that freaking show and, like, negativity was just coming at me. I don't like it. Mm. So, I, I'm 
really curious about this tooth, the new tooth, or something that's going to be a new tooth. Um, I'm very scared right now. My dad is like really into me going to him and getting the temporary tooth and, you know, looking into dental implants. But for me, like I was, and I know I shouldn't be like this because, and thankfully some of you guys have reminded me of this, but I've been really fearful because it was very traumatic for me. Um, just because, I mean, coming to Florida is traumatic for me. So like, I mean, I'm like a very fragile person. So, like, the fact that we came here and, like, I was stuck in the car for 12 hours and then, like, this whole ordeal and, like, not even being able to recognize myself, um, it just has me, like, really scared. Like, I'm, like, every time my dad brings it up, I'm just, like, no, I'm good. I'm good with a no tooth in the front. Like, I'm good. No, no, I'm good. I'm fine. Like, I don't want to get anything else done. But, I mean... I have a huge smile. That's like the one thing my my um my dentist in North Carolina who did the because of this front tooth that I had right here, it was like black underneath, and he had I had a veneer, then he did caps on all four of my teeth, but the gray was still showing through a little bit on this tooth, so he redid it again. So I had the tooth done three times. That's why they just like. I was I was didn't care that they yanked it because it wasn't like they were yanking a healthy tooth, um, but it's had a lot of work done to it. So I just wanted to heal and like I should like calculate how much money these four teeth have cost. It would probably make me vomit. Because I know for like a dental implant alone, just if I wanted to get that, it would probably around, be around 5000 Yeah. Mm -mm. Minimum. Because getting it out was 3000 I don't know what I would do without my parents. Like I just sit here all day while I'm healing and I just think holy crap what would I have done without my parents like I don't even have a credit card I, mean, I did have credit cards but I don't have them anymore like that is so freaking scary I mean I would have to get out a credit card and put it on and I'd be in debt forever but like how do you pay for stuff like that I guess I would just never get a tooth put, put back in there but, at this point, like, I'm really scared. I don't really want them to go in and, like, for me, like, an implant means, like, they'll probably, like, cut and then, like, drill it up into here. And I know my dad still has pain in the tooth that he had implanted. And I don't know. I just hear so many horror stories. But I shouldn't be fearful. I know I shouldn't. I don't know why I'm being like this. I think it's just too much, too much sick. And this is all on top of having chronic pain and mental illness. So it's just a bundle with joy. It's exactly what you guys want to listen to around the holiday season. I know that for sure. Uh, I could just sing like Jingle Bells with my missing tooth. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, where? Even bells like, uh, no. Um, yeah, so I think that I'm starting to realize that I feel really, really sick in the morning when I wake up, and then I'm starting to feel a little bit better in the evenings, um, or like actually really late at night, but, um, I'm just hoping that this is healing up nicely and I'll get to enjoy um, Christmas and freaking meet Le Leanne. Like, I've been waiting so long to meet her. And then I get here and I, like, can't even, I haven't even talked to the neighbors. I haven't been outside. Like, ugh. I mean, not that that's any different at home. I have the same issue with my friends at home. Like, 
I get stuck in bed for like weeks, you know, like my friend Lynn comes to visit from Greenville and like I don't get to see her and but geez, just starting this trip out with a bang. But um I kind of like I do kind of I mean I know I shouldn't be putting so much pressure on myself to decide, but at the same time I really want the dentist or the dentist don't feel bad the surgeon that did this tooth to do my implant so like I don't particularly care who does the actual tooth like it, that can be done in North Carolina but I really trust this doctor that I went to like he was very decisive and very good and like kept a lot of factors in mind like especially keeping it open so that I didn't well I potentially could have to get a bone graft but He's hopeful that I won't, and if he would have done more damage or cracked something, I definitely would have. But, I don't know, I just trust him. But, I don't know, I just heard so many people, like, doing things like this, and then, like, things just keep on getting worse and worse and worse. And <sighs> So, if you ever wonder what I'm like when I'm horribly ill and all by myself and can't really even walk around the house or get on the computer or talk on the phone this is what it's like you just got 18 minutes of it enjoy now i really have been thinking about you guys so much and so crazy because it's like the year's almost over and i just was like i was in the shower the other day and i was just like i cannot imagine my life without like doing videos for you guys every day and like your comments and talking to you guys and being able to comment back and read them and it's just so strange i mean i mean maybe it's not strange for other people but for me it was like i just didn't think that that interaction would ever happen like i got like i mean i i got back christmas presents for you guys like it's like it's crazy it's just so crazy to me and like this year's been a really tough year, and I just don't know. I just feel really blessed by this channel and being able to interact with y'all and build friendships and make some of you guys smile or laugh or connect in any way. And whew, it's just crazy. I'm really, really thankful for that. And, um,. I just want to get back to like the happy regular Emily that you all have come to tolerate <laughs> um but yeah I like miss that I want to be able to like comment all your comments and uh, you know but that will come it's only been a week so that's all good and dandy but I want to keep talking to you guys for like three hours more maybe i'll just pretend to talk to you guys and not have my camera on but um that sounds so now i'm like a sociopath psychopath i mean and a loser <laughs> no um i'm kidding i'm not saying that about myself because i know certain people Lori, will yell at me for saying that um but no i miss you guys and um sorry my hair is like dirty so it's like driving me nuts and i'm just can't stop playing with it. I was also like really nervous from that show. I need to watch something like really upbeat. I was watching House and it was like making me really paranoid about like getting sick and like what I'm gonna do if I ever have any of these really weird rare conditions. Maybe I'll just watch something about like puppies or something. <laughs> but I hope you guys are making free accessory day. Um I'm sending out X double O's and as always I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!